Hey Bass Angler Magazine readers, Jacob Wheeler here, iCash 2015. I want to talk to you about a little tip, topwater fishing. Who doesn't love to go out there, throw a topwater bait and get those big fish to explode on it? And you know, I, I get asked a lot, what's your favorite topwater? Um, in summertime, one of my favorites is a prop bait. A prop bait is a killer extract prop, three hooks on it. Um, it it's just really something about making a lot of disturbance, but also not moving far. When you have a prop bait, you have two propellers on that prop bait, and it whoosh, blows a lot of water out and stops. And so it's not, it, it's, it's a lot of action for a little bit of movement. And those fish, when it gets really hot in the middle of the summer, they're sitting there and they're like, I think I want to eat it, but it moves a little bit more. Yeah, I, I definitely want to eat that. And the last one whoosh, eats it. So, you know, that prop bait is something, and cadence is something that's really important. When you're, when I work a top water bait or a prop bait specifically, I, I, my favorite cadence is a, a, is a three, three, one, two, three, stop, and then a one, or a one, two, stop, one. And, and it's just sort of that cadence that you have to figure out each day is totally different. Sometimes I'll just swear you want it one pop and you let it sit there where the ripples go away, like sort of like a bug, uh, a bug pattern sort of kind, if you will. Um, other times it's all about a bluegill, moving it faster. Try to see if that bass wants to be, uh, you know, wants that little quicker movement. And, and another thing is, is key is rod setup. Rod and reel setup is, is very key when you're picking a top water lure up. Um, right here is my setup that I prefer, seven foot medium heavy TCS Scott Martin rod, parabolic, okay? You want a lot of tip, but you want it to go down into straight backbone. Tip to backbone, but you have that parabolic bend to where it's not gonna bend, it'll bend down halfway through the rod. And that's what I love about it as about a parabolic bend. When I pull into them, I know it's gonna just really load up really nicely. I'm not gonna pull those treble hooks out. That's really important. Next, 17 pound Pro Mix monofilament. Suffix Pro, Pro Mix monofilament. It has low stretch, but still, it stays up high in the water column. It's gonna keep that line up there real high. It's gonna float monofilament. And I'm just old school on that. I throw braid a little bit. I will throw an 832 braid every once in a while, but I really like that Pro Mix monofilament. Last but not least, 731 gear ratio reel. Quickly, when those fish eat that bait, a lot of times they'll grab it and run straight to you. So you need a really high speed reel so you can reel up and pull into them. Biggest mistake I see a lot of anglers do is when they're working that bait, what do they do when that fish blows up? Oh, set the hook, they're all herky jerky and everything. That's not what you want to do. You need to calm down, take a deep breath, stop drinking all them Red Bulls, grab you some water, and when that fish blows up, you just pull into them. Treble hooks are so sharp these days that they're going to hook them. They're going to hook them fine. You just need to pull into those fish, use that rod, parabolic bend, pull into those fish, and you're going to get a lot more fish in the boat.